All right, hello everybody. Travis Chandler, Chandler Gaming, here with episode nine of the Engineer series of Mass Effect. But here any second now, we'll get to it. Yeah, there we go. I was probably getting some water before starting. So here we go. Here we go. What adventure are we going to get into today? Let's find out. I know we just went through Pharaoh, so more than likely we have a couple of um, quests to do. What can I do for you? Something bothering you? It's Aaron. I'm starting to wonder whether we'll ever find you. He's always one step ahead of us, and he's got those damn geth. We're getting close, Garrus. We'll find him. I wish I had your confidence. I just can't stand the thought of him getting away with everything he's done. I know you're doing everything you can, and if anyone can catch him, it's you, but... If there's anything else I can do to help, anything, just tell me what you want me to do, and I'll do it. I understand your concern, but we'll find him. Just make sure you're ready to go when we do. Yes, sir. I'll be ready. Can I ask you something, Commander? What is it? Are you worried that the Council might be protecting Saren? Well, I can, sir. ...dragging their heels before. What if we find him, bring him back to the Citadel, and they refuse to act? I get the feeling this isn't a question. Speak your mind, Garrus. Well, maybe we shouldn't give them the chance, Commander. Right? Saren's too dangerous to be kept alive. Too much could happen. He could escape, or the Council might let him go. If we find him, when we find him, I say we make sure we stop him permanently. If Saren won't listen to reason, if he forces my hand, I'll kill him in a heartbeat. But only if it's absolutely necessary. But what's the point in keeping him alive? It just gives him an opportunity to escape or convince the Council to listen to him. And what about the Geth? They might try to free him. We know more about Saren's plans than anyone, but what do we really know? If we just kill him, we lose the chance to find out. Yeah, that's true. I see your point. Do you really think there's more to know, other than the fact that he's a raving lunatic? Maybe, maybe not. But it's not a chance I'm willing to take. Yes, sir. Shepard. So, you'd rather be a merc than help your people? I'm a fighter. It's what I do. Aren't you at all worried about what will happen to the Krogan? What the hell do you want me to do about it, Shepard? I'm tired of sticking my ass on the line and getting nothing for it. So you're just giving up on your people? I gave up on fighting for a lost cause. I'm no hero, Shepard. Bottom line, killing for credits simplifies things. Exactly. That's why I hired you. And that's why I joined. So I wouldn't have to deal with them. But there's a lot of Krogan mercs out there. I'm always running into them. Half the time I'm being paid to kill them. But that's just part of the job. You don't get to pick who your enemies are. How long have you been a merc? Long enough. I took my first contract right after I left my home system. It's good work, but doesn't kill you. I get the feeling you enjoy your work. Sure. You get to see the galaxy on someone else's credits, and most days end with a good fight. I've tried more organized fighting, private armies and such, but it gets too messy. I fight best on my own, or in very small groups. I don't like people relying on me, and I bloody well don't like relying on them. You must have family other than your father. Don't you miss them? No. Now that I have my family's armor again, there's nothing left for me. So long, Rex. Shepard. All right. So, we need to talk to Tally. It feels 
Looks like we're getting near the end, doesn't it, Shepard? With Saren, I mean. It won't be much longer. One way or another, it'll all be over soon. You'll find the conduit before he does. I know you will. You have to. And after this is all over, when my pilgrimage ends, and I go back to my own people, I'll be proud to say I was a part of it. We couldn't have done this without you, Telly. You've been good to me. A lot of people treat Quarians like second-class citizens. They just want us to go back to our fleet and disappear. But you've treated me just like everyone else on your crew. Like an equal. That means a lot, and it says something about you. Whatever happens, I just want to say thank you for that. I'm going to miss you when you go back to your own people, Tally. That won't happen for a while yet. I'll be right here anytime you need me. I should go. See you later. Alright. Let's see what Viara has to say. Our blueberry pie has to say. <laughs> Commander, are you coming to check up on me? You look much better. No, I just wanted to look at your painted on eyebrows. <laughs> I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. You're in good hands. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. I like talking with you, Liara. Yeah, wanna fuck? <laughs> you have been very understanding with me, Shepard. Very patient. I appreciate that. I know there are some strange beliefs about my people. I am familiar with the legend of Asari promiscuity, but those rumors have little basis in fact. When one of my people joins with an individual from another species, it is a very deep and spiritual exchange. We do not enter lightly into a union. You make it sound almost mystical. A true union goes far beyond an ordinary melding. It is a connection that transcends the physical universe. Two become one. Thoughts and senses merge, identities intertwine. Memories and emotions <laughs> weave themselves together, becoming entangled in a single, rapturous whole. It is unlike any other experience. In some cases, it can be a truly life-changing event. It sounds amazing. Are you saying... No. Oh, no. Uh, I am not very good at this, am I? I'm sorry, Shepard. I am trying to explain why I have been so... reserved. The Union is more than just sex. It is the lifeblood of my species, the way we Asari evolve and grow as a society. That is why I have never... Uh, I mean, that is why we must choose our partners with great care. I want you to be absolutely sure about this, Liara. I am only 106, barely an adult by Asari standards, and I spend most of my time absorbed in my research. Yeah. I never really thought about it. Not until I met you. You are very special to me, Shepard. But with all that's happened, Saren, the Geth, the Reapers, I do not know if we are ready for this. These are dark times, Liara. Maybe once all this is over. I'm glad you understand, Shepard. There is too much at stake. We need to put aside our personal feelings and focus on stopping Saren. I wish it did not have to be that way. But we all have to make sacrifices. Let's... let's talk about something else. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. Okay, so here we are on a... Sh Derelict ship. Is this the one with the husks? I think it is. Yep, it is.
be what you say that, but we're going to end up finding more here in a minute. I smell trouble. Okay, so I take the shortcut here. I don't look for the way around. I just say fuck it and take the shortcut. Didn't realize there were more. There's a couple more over here too, it looks like. Yeah, there they are. There. Think we got him, Commander. And then that takes you back. Logs show this ship was exploring near the Perseus Vale. Looks like they found some kind of alien artifact. They brought it on board and then... This is really weird, Commander. They plotted a course straight into the Perseus Vale. Like they wanted the Geth to find them. That artifact must have done something to them. Why else would someone fly into Geth space? Must have. The entries don't make a lot of sense after that. It's like the Captain's mind was falling apart. It doesn't say anything about how they got back into our territory. The Geth transformed them into husks, and left the vessel where they knew it would be found. A warning to other organics not to enter the Vale. Okay. No to Crux. This is the one where we deal with the uh, Thorian Creepers, and some of the Exogeny Scientists. Okay, in we go.
There we go. Clear. Rescuers? Oh, thank God. See? I told you somebody would come to investigate that signal. My name is Dr. Ross, Chief Exogeny Research. Not Bob Ross. <laughs> We've been trapped in this room for days. We're almost out of food and water. You got here just in time. Not so fast. First, you're going to tell me why this place is overrun with Thorian creepers. How do you know about the Thorian? Because we killed it. I know what Exogeny was up to. I saw what they let the Thorian do to those colonists, so I destroyed it. Our secret's out then. No point in my lying. You already know the worst. The creepers here were created using altered samples from the specimens on Pharos. Yeah? I discovered a way to turn them into docile, obedient servants. Everything was going fine until a few days ago. Then all the creepers suddenly went berserk. Only a handful of us made it back into the safety of this room. Right? What did you expect? You couldn't really believe those things were safe. We knew there were risks, but I thought we'd taken all the necessary precautions. I didn't mean for this to happen. Look, I know what we did here was wrong. I'll admit that. But it's over now. There's no sense reporting this to the authorities. Right? Actually, you're wrong. You need to pay for this. <laughs> you were in charge of this project. The safety of the staff was your responsibility. They trusted you. And you betrayed that trust. Be reasonable. I didn't mean for this to happen. Besides, how does it help anyone if I end up in jail? Normally, Exogeny would have my back, but it sounds like they're going to have their hands full cleaning up the mess on Pharos. But I've got money. A nice little emergency fund I set up. It's yours if you let us go. This isn't about money. It's about justice. Blood for blood. Uh... That's not going to happen. Open fire. Open fire! Okay, and here at Shaska. What's this one, I wonder? Oh, this is the colonies. Yeah, this is the colony. Will you find out they've all been turned to husks? The entire colony must have been transformed.
There's nothing over here. So we go to the next building. We take on more husks. Rinse and repeat. That's what we do. I don't know why I recorded this. I should have just skipped over it and um, just shown the last building, you know. Okay, and that's it there. Now we go to the main building. And then we blew him up and he left his feet. Hostile spotted. There we go. There. Now they're all down. Then we go in here and we find, like, some data files or something like that. I'm thinking that's what it is. It's data files or something to explain what happened here. Nothing in here. Okay. You? There we go. Turns out Cerberus um, was in control of that colony. So now we're going to do Asteroid X-57. Now again, I cut out all the driving in this... Uh, mission and just do all the um main points like where the engineers are and where um and where to go that's pretty much what i do status sensors reveal three fusion torches propelling asteroid x57 at its current rate of acceleration the asteroid will collide with terra nova in approximately four hours Can you hear me? They haven't found me yet, but I can't talk long. Shut down the fusion torches. I'm going to die. God, I hope you're hearing this. Okay. So here we go. To the first survey station, right? Well, it's actually survey station two, but...
But here we'll go to the transmission the transmitter tower. Repair it. And then we'll come down here and fight the We'll fight the turrets for experience. That's the only reason I destroy them. And here we go, into the first building for the first torch. That's how you take care of those bastards, hell yeah. But an engineer hit us. So, we'll just do that. Boom. You know, with all those mini containers like that on the shelves here, I wonder if they were using this to, um, as like a image dump or something. That's what I got thinking. Because they did that in Star Ocean till the end of time. If you go through the Maze of Tribulations, You'll start seeing that, um, you find all these empty chests. Was that you? Can you hear me? I hear you. What's going on? Who are you? My name's Kate Bowman. I'm an engineer. I was part of the team assigned to bring this asteroid to Terra Nova. We were attacked yesterday by Batarian extremists. I've been hiding since they arrived. I think they know the torch went out. Stay put. I'll get those other torches offline as soon as I can. Thanks. I'll contact you when I can. So anyway, like I said, in Star Ocean, um, well, I forgot about this. Hey. Oh God, I didn't mean to. Are you hurt? You can't go firing your weapon at everything that moves. What the hell's wrong with you? Sorry. I thought you were one of them. Here's a tip: two eyes, human; four eyes, Batarian. Yeah, okay. I'll remember that. Leave the fighting to me from now on. Commander Shepard, Systems Alliance. Simon. Simon Atwell. I'm the chief engineer on this rock. Listen, we don't have much time. The Batarians fired up the fusion torches. You've got to shut them down before we hit Terra Nova. There are four million people down there, Shepard. I... My family. They live in Aronis. My kids and grandkids. Nice communities. Good schools. Batarians everywhere, and I need to shut down all three torches. Anything else I should know? One of the torches is surrounded by live blasting caps. We were set up to excavate when we arrived at Terra Nova. I rigged them with proximity detectors. That tank of yours will set them off, so you'll have to go in on foot. 
Even then, they'll explode if you get too close. Just go slow and easy. You should be fine. Time's running short. One last thing. I had a crew working off-site when the attack hit. I'm worried about them. These Batarians are ruthless. I saw them smash the faceplates of guys working vacuum. And those Varen. I don't think they always wait for a corpse before feeding. Four and a half million people are gonna die in a few hours. Don't make me trot out some tired platitude about the needs of many versus few. But if you see them while... No. You're right. Focus on the torches. Sorry. There were a bunch of engineers over at the main facility, but they're probably all dead. That or being held hostage by the Batarians. A woman named Kate Bowman contacted me. The Batarians haven't found her yet. Katie's alive. She's one of my best engineers. She signed on with her brother, Aaron, I, th I think his name is. He's part of the security detail. I hope they're okay. Time's running short. I'm gonna go punch this mountain into space. I think I'll make myself scarce in case any Batarians come back. Good idea. But anyway, with Star Ocean until the end of time, if you go through the Maze of Tribulations, um... It'll, um... You'll see all the empty chests. They, come to find out, um, Square Enix used it as a image dump. So that's why I'm wondering in this, in that first building, with all the little mini containers and stuff, um, if they were using it as an image dump. If, um, Bioware was using it as an image dump. This is easier than you think. It just sucks that halfway through the Batarians come after you. There we got through. All right. Now, first thing we're going to do is, um, after we do this, is disarm the, um, disarm the blasting caps. There we go. And that's how you do that. <laughs> and the rest of them are upstairs.
Boom. Oh, it didn't work. Air. You think? Don't shoot, please! No! Who's shutting down the torches? Okay, so on to Fusion Torch 3. I know I forgot the other engineers, so we'll have to go back for them, but that's okay. We'll do it here in a minute once we get done with this Fusion Torch. There's one more. Negative contacts, Commander. Oh, Ashley took him out. Now we're gonna get now we're gonna get up there and shut down this torch. Interesting. Around the hold it right there. This doesn't have to end in bloodshed. Don't come any closer. We can do this the hard way, or we can end this peacefully. I've got nothing to say to a Batarian terrorist. Look, I'm just doing my job here. Hijacking this rock wasn't my idea. I signed on to make a little profit. A quick slave grab, nothing more. This isn't just a slave grab anymore. Millions of people are gonna die. Don't you think I know that? I'm just following orders here. If it were up to me, we'd have already left. Maybe you should take your men and go. Before you get hurt. I don't think so. Bollock would skin me alive and sell my hide out of spite. Crazy bastard. This whole mission's gone to hell and I'm gonna pay for it. So why do you listen to him? Good question. 
I had a bad feeling about this from the moment we landed. Now Balak wants you dead. And what Balak wants, Balak gets. I can't change that. Spoken like a true lackey. You get me out of here and I'll take care of Balak. Or you can take your chances with me. Huh. An interesting proposal. It certainly has benefits over the current situation. Shut it down. This is Balak's problem now. I hope you're as quick with a gun as you are with your promises. For both our sakes. Balak's a dead man. And if I ever see you in human territory again, so are you. Understand? Perfectly. Alex, hold up in the main facility. You'll need this to get in. Don't underestimate him. He's a mean bastard. Let's go. We're getting off this rock. Okay, so here we go. Here's one of the engineers. Well, the footprints, anyway. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get this one. I'm going to have to do it again, it looks like. Yeah. There we go. Okay. There's one. There's two. The third one should be over here. There he is. There we go. That's better. Yeah, it's that one. That one. There you go. Yeah. I forgot to go to Survey Station 1. That's the last of them. But I also need to find the body here real quick before I forget. Which is just down this way. And here's Survey Station 1. This is Dr. Himes. They found me, damn Batarians. I can hear them out there prowling around, trying to find a way in. It sounds like they're attaching something to the door. If I don't make it, tell my family I love them. There we go, I hit the microphone by accident. I didn't mean to. <sighs> so in here is going to be a fight. I really don't like fighting in here because there's so many goddamn Batarians. Ugh. Because you don't know where they're at, you don't know what level they're on, you don't know. You end up chasing them around in circles. You can't get a good shot at them. You can't. Look out. Look out. Look out. 
Got your ass. Got your ass. more trouble than you're worth. I'm just getting started. Predictable, but this is over. I'm leaving this asteroid. If you try to stop me, I'll detonate these charges, and your helper and her friends are all going to die. You don't get to leave, Valak. Not after what you've done. What I've done? This is nothing compared to what's been done to the Batarians. We've been forced into exile. Forced to survive on what we can scrounge up. It's been like that for decades. Don't make it sound like you're the innocent party here. You brought it upon yourselves. Really? You invaded our space, took our resources, and when we asked the Council for aid, they brushed us off. We were left to defend ourselves, but the humans were stronger than us. We knew that. The Council knew that. But it didn't matter. It was you. You and your kind are the only reason we're in this position. How does killing innocent people make up for that? We had no other options. Sometimes you need to get someone's attention before they'll listen. Is that what Elysium was? A way to get our attention? Well, you got it. And when we responded, you ran like cowards. Now you want to start it all over again. Enough! You couldn't possibly understand. Actually, you just don't want to understand, and I'm done wasting my breath. Now, if you want your friends to live, I suggest you step aside. You can go, but this isn't over. I'll find you eventually. Maybe, but I made sure you won't follow me today. Those charges are still on a timer. Better hurry if you want to save your friends. All right, now we got to find the charges. Not only that, but we fight a bunch of fucking enemies too, which pissed me off to no end. There's one. Here's two. And three, I think, is upstairs, and I should have just cut to it. Yeah, it's upstairs. Like an idiot, I didn't go upstairs. And I think they keep spawning enemies until you take out the, um, the, the charge. Well, maybe not. Is that all right? 
Letting him go was better than the alternative. I thought you were going to stay someplace safe. I... There might have been something I could have done to help. I thought I should be here. I know this asteroid better than anyone. You did it. Another hour and our course would have been irreversible. I ran the numbers, Shepard. X-57 would have struck near the capital city. The most densely populated region. But that's not going to happen, thanks to you. Is Katie in here? Is she alright? Is her team? Balak was holding them hostage. I let him go to save them. Let a terrorist go or sacrifice innocent lives. I'm glad that's not a choice I had to make. Is that... Will you get in trouble for that? I mean, he could do the same thing somewhere else, couldn't he? Yeah, he probably could. The Alliance has a whole navy full of people like me, waiting to take him down. We'll be watching. Shepard, thank you for my grandchildren's lives. I don't think I'll stick around, though. Not with the team gone. Too many ghosts. It's time for me to get back and spend some time with my family. Before I go, I'd like to offer you something. Maybe you'll have more use for it than I do. <laughs> As lead engineer, I get some quality items. Take your pick. You've earned it. I could really use some light armor. I hope you get good use out of it. One more thing. You asked me to look into your missing engineers. Have you found them? Yes, all of them. Their bodies, anyway. Oh. I... I see. Well then, I guess it's better than not knowing. Take care of yourself. Be well, Shepard. We owe you. Alright, well, we're gonna have... The Colossus armor is the best armor in the game, and I got IX. So I got the best ar the best light armor in the game. Which is gonna be awesome. Bam! <laughs> and so, um, now we just release the hostages. Believe you let Valak go to save us. I half expected you to just let us die, sacrifice the few for the many. That's not the way I do things. Be no better than the Batarians. Besides, Valak won't get away with this. I know who he is now. He can't run forever. <laughs> you sound like my brother. He was always so stubborn, but always willing to do the right thing, no matter. Your brother was the one Valak killed? Yes. Aaron. He was the one who convinced me to join the team here. Said it would be an adventure. I, I don't mean to sound ungrateful, but I should see to Aaron. I understand. You've been through enough today. I'll get out of your way. Thank you. Oh, I don't even know your name. Shepard. Commander Shepard. Commander Shepard. Thank you, Commander Shepard. You're not exactly what I expected, but thank you. I'll get out of your way. So long, Kate. I appreciate that, Commander. Goodbye. Okay, so that's going to be the end of this video. So, um, hope you all had fun in this episode. I did. And I will see you all in the next episode.